Hello students, welcome to the session. We are discussing in yoga therapy final year BNYS on topic integrated approach of yoga therapy and we are discussing about the application part of it. What are the practices? In the last few hours we discussed about the cause of the disease and in the last class we were discussing about uh, the diet and uh, uh, the approach of yoga therapy uh, through Annamaya Kosha level. I think two important things I discussed in the last class to tell about the summarizing the diet and sattvic diet and kriyas has four important effects that is purification, tonification their function, then desensitization and development of a deep internal awareness. And third practice very important is physical exercises that is also very important preparatory to asana practices. Uh, it is very important uh, in normal conditions because physical exercises plays a major role. Uh, prepare yourself, we normally call losing exercises, Shitali Karnavyayama, Sukshmayamas and all. So they are also having a therapeutical importance. The important effect of uh, physical exercise on physical body is, it loosens the joints, strengthens the muscles around the joints, stamina building and development of uh, forbearance that is uh, Titiksha, the endurance is increases, it improves the flexibility and prepares well for the practice of next important uh, uh, practice in Annamaya Kosha that is asanas. So, um, especially what happened is in certain conditions we cannot directly introduce them in asana practices, especially in cerebrovascular accidents, there is a stroke patients or in arthritic patients, initially we have to give some physical exercises, loosening them, their joints and reducing their pain and then we can give them uh, the next practice that is asana. So, when we come to the fourth important component at Annamaya Kosha level that is asanas. So, asanas as Patanjali clearly explains what is asana? Stiram Sukham asana. So, it, it should produ produce stability and sense of well being. And uh, there are two important asanas in therapy also, therapeutic purpose also dynamic yoga asanas and relaxative yoga asanas. It is not the meaning that relaxative asanas, relaxative way of practicing practice yoga asanas. Dynamic means with repetition, with the speed. Best example for dynamic yoga asanas is you can also answer that Surya Namaskara. So, Surya Namaskara, uh, we have 12 asanas, we practice around 5 to 6 rounds. Therapeutically, we start from 4 rounds, 48 asanas, then 60 asanas at a time, about, or lastly about 72 asanas, 6 rounds. So, that it is a little repetitive way with the, with the fast movements. Even different asanas also can introduce, where we can introduce, especially for children. The children concentration is very less. When they have, when their concentration is very less, they cannot concentrate on one particular object. So, what happened? They, lot, they have a lot of energy. So, what happened? They have to go for a dynamic yoga asanas. They lose the energy. Then you can give them a relaxative asanas. First only you tell them to do relaxative asanas. Their concentration is not good. Their energy is so high. So, they are unable to do that. So, in certain conditions like in obesity, obesity patients, they need to improve their uh, BMR, basic metabolic rate. So, it, obesity is also caused by the stress, no doubt in that. But certain conditions, sedentary lifestyle, overeating, overeating, output is very less, the uh, purely rajasic and tamasic diet, there is no activity. So, then what happened? We have to give them dynamic yoga asanas, improve their uh, basal metabolic rate. So, improve their fat mobilization, liver should be active. So, they have to reduce their weight, they reduce their cholesterol level. So, that is why we give dynamic yoga asanas. Children I already told. And especially in psychological conditions, because psychiatric disorders like mania, they are very hyperactive. You cannot make them to do relaxative asanas. So, what they will do, what will do them? We will give them dynamic yoga asanas, lose their energy, and then we go for relaxative practices. Certain, certain psychological conditions, we give dynamic yoga asanas. It is not only Surya Namaskara, even asanas were practiced with a repetition. Coming to the second, so those are very dull, very lethargy. You cannot ask them to go again to the sleeping mode by giving relaxation. We have to active them, we have to activate them. So, stimulate, you have to stimulate them. Stimulation and then relaxation, it will be more effective. So, categories I told children, um, the psychiatric patients, especially in manic cases, in depression cases, depression also you have to make them active. So, uh, to active them, we have to give dynamic yoga asanas. And then uh, the conditions like overweight or obesity, where they have to lose a lot of energy, their metabolism should increase. So, there also we give dynamic yoga asanas, where we give relaxative asanas. 
relaxative asanas are the very effective in therapeutic mode for example samanya type of vyadi normally we give relaxative asanas relaxative asanas means practice with relaxation so three important things patanjali has explained about asanas what is asana stiram sukham asanam with the relaxation with the stability with the sense of well being we are giving asanas that is relaxative way then he says how to practice asana prayatna shaitilyam ananta samapatibhyam so prayatna shaitilyam means relaxation relaxative way you have to do the yoga postures reduce the stress from increase the level of awareness and decreasing the stress level from deeper and deeper layers of consciousness so that's why we have to give relaxative way of yogic practices the relaxative way of yoga practices when you are giving the important principle you apply is prayatna shaitilya there is no effort minimum effort with relaxation then he says ananta samapatibhyam means meditative state infinite being within is reach that means relaxation so all the psychosomatic illnesses hypertension diabetes peptic ulcer gastric acid peptic diseases headaches stressful conditions all disorders we give relaxative way of practicing asana on the basic principles of yoga therapy of asana is prayatna shaitilya effort is overcome when merging the infinity means you are you are you are reaching to spiritual level also that's why he says the next tato dwandu anabigada mind becomes so strong neither hot nor cold neither loss nor gain will not affect stability samatva equilibrium is maintained so this is the way we therapeutically introduce two types of asanas so this completes your annamaya kosha operation like we give in the different diseases diet then kriyas then physical exercises and then asanas coming to pranamaya kosha you already studied what happens there is a strong ignorances avidya at vijnanamaya kosha level disturbance at lower annamaya kosha level so manomaya kosha adi starts percolate into pranamaya kosha in between uh, mind and uh, body there is a pranamaya kosha innumerable innumerable number of nadis prana flows prana sedam vashe sarvam tridiveyat pratishtitam it presents everywhere in all the layers so prana is disturbed there is a hazard flow of prana and agitation of nadis so how to correct it pranamaya kosha operation pranamaya kosha operation what are it includes it includes breathing exercises breathing practices so awareness is very important see person knows he is doing mistake aware his mistake will reduce that's why we always say awareness is recognition recognition is half solution any problem if you recognize my pranamaya kosha is different so breathing exercises you are moving from physical grosser body to the pranamaya vital sheath the second sheath so there we try to introduce breathing exercises hand in and out breathing hand stretch breathing you all know hand in and out breathing very freely we do inhale you expand the chest exhale you come back similarly you go for different breathing exercises hand stretch breathing inhale stretching exhale coming back in practical demonstration we'll show later to you so similarly we go for some practices of some breathing exercises sectional breathings abdominal breathing thoracic breathing then clavicular breathing full abdominal thoracic and clavicular breathing, full yogic breathing so these are all breathing exercises hand stretch breathing i already told dog breathing tiger breathing so these are all the very important model in the therapy see matter of see the therapeutic module of different yogic diseases we give breathing exercises recognition of prana pranamaya kosha so we are before going to pranayama these are the preparatory breathing practices pre pranayama practices how ana physical exercises a pre asana practices similarly you give pranamaya kosha so pranayama so before going to pranayama we go for the practice of prana pranamaya kosha that is to breathing exercises to balance the pranamaya kosha to balance the pranamaya kosha you go for, give for breathing different 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 breathing exercises so that agitation of nadis and haphazard flow of prana will be removed so after that what you will do you will go for the practice of different pranayama practices so that is that's why prana sedam vashe sarvam tridiveyat pratishtam prana should be controlled that's why tasmin sati shwasa prashwasa your gati vichcheda pranayama patanjali says when you are doing inhalation exhalation with retention you gain mastery over the prana pranasya ayama pranayama so all these in agitation should be removed so what you will do you will go for the different pranayama according to the disease condition stressful conditions research study says that you do only left nostril breathing inhalation from left nostril exhalation from left nostril only inhale from the left exhale from the right 10 times 4 times a day your stress level comes down 
heart will be controlled by parasympathetic nervous system see when you run what happened our heart rate is increased so after some time heart rate comes down that is increased by sympathetic stimulation decreased or normalized by parasympathetic stimulation research studies says that if you breathe through left nostril inhalation from left exhalation from left your heart controlled by parasympathetic that is reducing balancing your blood pressure and heart rate which increases that means more awareness so pranayama different different pranayamas stressful conditions we go for nadi shodhana pranayama or alternate nostril breathing so these are all we are we are trying to give the pranayama pranayama to balance the pranamaya kosha so pranayama kosha different different pranayama is give basrika pranayama you give then cooling pranayama is will give especially in acid peptic diseases we give shitali shitkari and sadanta so we are breathing through the mouth very simple you clench your teeth inhale from the mouth exhale from the nostril very simple your acidity comes down your gastric especially in emergency conditions or in our shantivan hospital what we will do if you get acidity we never give medicines we ask them to go for the pranayama practices as uh, tablet will take half an hour pranayama within 5 minutes is acidity will be controlled so such a pranayama are there for in different conditions so that's why we are giving them in pranamaya kosha so that today we studied about the important two tools that in annamaya kosha practices in annamaya kosha that is physical exercises its importances and asanas in pranamaya kosha we studied the different breathing exercises to balance the pranamaya kosha and different pranayamas the next class i am going to discuss about again pranamaya kosha operation and further thank you